Good afternoon. Today is Wednesday, July 20th. We are a few days post remove from the Hard Rock 100. My feet are healing up. And today on my calendar, I've got a 30 minute bike ride. So I do have the bike here. I'm getting it put together. And I had a call with my coach today with James Benet. And we talked about, I uh, gave him the race recap. I hadn't talked to him yet post-race. The IT band uh, has been doing okay, at least going up and down stairs and after my 30 minute hike. Haven't run on it yet. That's coming on Friday. Yeah, so I have another day of rest tomorrow and then 20 to 30 minute recovery jog on Friday, which I plan to do out at the uh, stunner night rides on Friday and then I'll have a rest day on Saturday. We have our stunner night runs uh, Here in the Phoenix area and then Sunday. I've got another 30 minute easy run So it's gonna be just the theme of easy this week Hike bike two runs a lot of rest days. Honestly, it's really nice to kind of be held back uh, Even though I'm starting to feel good. It can be be challenging to just kind of kick it off so uh, I'm gonna get the bike ready here and uh, I guess send it off go five miles hey guys um, it is Monday July 25th and wanted to do a quick uh, training update and also I uh, got to do my run today still so I'm gonna bring you along with that uh, I'm gonna open up these these pairs of shoes here, see if one of them might work for me. So uh, yeah, we are what? A little over a week removed from finishing the 2022 Hard Rock 100. And last week was, was pretty chill. Let's see, I got in that 30 minute hike on Monday. I did a 30 minute bike ride on Wednesday, 30 minute run on Friday evening. And yesterday I also had a 30 minute run. I was out on the Black Canyon Trail for a little bit, scoping out a new piece up there. And yeah, so far so good. I probably actually did closer to 40 minutes yesterday, about three and a half miles uh, in, in the heat. So we're back in the heat. We do have some clouds today. Uh, we'll probably finish up tonight's run in the dark. Um, but looking ahead to this week, so today is this 45 minute run. And I've got a one hour bike ride tomorrow. And then a, I believe I have a one hour run Thursday. Friday is a rest day. That'll be my travel day up to Utah for Tushers, which is this weekend, which is this incredible race. We've, we've shown it here on this channel before, but it is a true mountain race. If the Hard Rock 100 was 100k distance and was held in Utah, that's what Tushers would be. So I'm gonna be out there supporting that event. We've got a sold out race, 450 people will be running on Saturday into Sunday morning. And I've got a two hour run planned on Saturday. So during race day, so wherever I happen to be, I'm gonna try and get out there on course, run around a bit with the runners, uh, get some photos, etc. And then Sunday will be uh, my drive back and that will be another rest day. So it's gonna be another chill week, um, just letting it absorb. And um, I am already kind of gearing up my upcoming race calendar, race schedule. So uh, the next big event that I'm training for is the 2023 Barkley Marathons. So we've got plenty of time, maybe just enough time if we roll this hard rock training and what I did out there into next year's training. So that is the goal. The goal is five loops at Barkley. 
we got to get ready. We got to run consistent. We got to. We can't be missing workouts. Can't be missing days. We got to do some some strength training on this IT band. It's it's feeling good. It's feeling uh, like a non-issue at this point. But of course, just getting back into it. I'm putting in for a race lottery tomorrow. And my coach thinks it'd be a good idea for me to run the Hurt 100. It is a race I did as part of the Slam of the Damned back in 2015. So I kicked off that year with the Hurt 100 in January, went on to do four loops at Barkley that year. It is, I think, a great race to simulate Barkley. It is tough, rooty, really rainy, slippery muddy all those kind of things it is five loops as well so you get kind of that repetition and you can work on a, a pacing strategy we will see i'm going to apply for the lottery not sure if i will get in or not i don't uh, think i have much of an advantage so i'm just kind of applying like everyone else is um, but yeah that's my quick recap of what's happening with me so anyways let's take a look at these shoes these just arrived um from solomon thank you to steph for sending these my way solomon has recently got into uh plated shoes so they have something called the energy blade and it is a it's not a carbon plate but it's a composite plate so carbon and some other materials so this one right here it's in their new branded box they recently did a rebrand the new solomon logo so this is the specter and this is their plated road shoe. This has the energy blade, as you can see. This one's interesting. I have never run in this shoe before. Um, it looks, it feels quite responsive and bouncy. So I'm gonna have to check this one out for maybe one of my easy run, maybe my easy run on Thursday, I might do a road run. Uh, tonight I am gonna get up into the trails just cause I'm missing them right now. The shoe I'm gonna throw on tonight is this one. Woo! Those look sharp. Oh, it has like the throwback Solomon logo on there. Super cool. Pulsar Trail Pro. Now I have the uh, CL edition that I ran the last stretch of Hard Rock in, but this is their normal Pulsar Trail Pro shoe. It has that energy blade in it as well. You can see that little orange strip right there. That is that composite plate. Um, I'm assuming this one will be, yeah, also kind of super flexy. Kind of see that kind of springs back. So I'm gonna throw these on, give these a little spin, little 45 minute spin. Not sure if the, if the carbon stuff, composite stuff really makes a difference, but seems like all the brands are doing it these days. minutes in got about five and a half more to do pretty nice night out around right at two miles so this will be a nice four mile day to kick off the week so far so good and we got quite a show coming up here quite a big storm with some lightning hopefully we can beat it back I'm not sure at this point it seems to be traveling pretty quick could make for a spicy ending Woo! it's popping off up here Oh, we're 
right, solid run out there. Got the new shoes broken in a little bit. We got 45 minutes done, just a little over four miles. Not bad.